all right guys so like always i like to stay about you know chest deep in projects that way i don't have much time to breathe it just helps me and uh we got another one so basically this is probably gonna not be anybody's cup of tea except my own but we're gonna take this golf cart which is just a golf cart that i acquired for free one of those deals get it out of my yard as you can tell it wasn't a great deal but it has a good rear end in it it was 36 volt the plastics are shot um i don't there's nothing salvageable that i would ever want to reuse on another golf cart it's a 1987 um i would say that's old but that's my wife's age so i just shut my mouth uh the rear end's gonna come out a lot of this cross beams are coming out this right here is coming out that's coming out um the front end end up lifted to compensate for what i'm doing the this whole front i'm just gonna throw that away i don't feel like doing that body work it'd be good practice but uh yeah i'm not doing it i had too much other stuff going on anyways here's the kicker to the whole thing this is a murray they call them a wide body murray everybody builds all sorts of ridiculous stuff out of these things and good for them but i'm not i am going to chop this thing down to nothing and put everything up underneath here now the reason that i say i'm gonna probably catch some form of criticism for it is because what does a lawnmower run about eight mile an hour max yeah big deal this was free this was free no joke a customer gave this to me why not combine the two this has a 21 horsepower engine it is a briggs and stratton engine 46 inch cut as you can clearly read i'm not going to be using the deck or anything i'm not going to be mowing yards with a golf cart although that would make a neat build too not happening anyways this is basically okay so i got 51 inches from the front of the frame to the center of the rear tire on this golf cart i have 32 inches from the front rail to the center of the tire which means i need to remove about 20 inches out of this thing roughly I'm going to shorten it as short as I can to compensate. So basically what I'm going to do is right here behind the motor, I'm going to cut that frame. And I don't know where the 20 inches or 22 or 24, whatever I end up going with, where that exactly lies back here in this part. But it, it's either at the front of the tire or about an inch or so in. I'm going to cut it there too. And then I'm going to mate them together. I'm going to leave all the pulley set up that I need under it. Because it's hydrostatic, it's a lot simpler. It's forward and reverse. That's it. So, basically, it's two pedals. Forward, reverse. All I got to do... Ow. Sorry. All I got to do, I mean, I do have the gear here. You get my point. I don't need all the pulleys and stuff like tensioner pulleys and all that crazy stuff up underneath of it like a regular mower that you have to push the clutch in and releases the belt and all that this is more simpler a little bit easier i'm not going to go on any kind of record of saying i'll be the first person to build this i'm sure there's 300,000 of them out there i haven't seen one i'm sure if you have i would love to see the person who did it just to get with them and get some pointers because i even though it's built it my way i do like to see how other people do it to help me along the way but this is this is it it's nothing fancy it's nothing that i'm caring if it does 100 miles an hour i have a video if you want to check it out of a lawnmower i built that was a six speed and it did 45 miles an hour so Clearly, you can get more speed out of a lawnmower than you think just by doing a pulley swap. 
that being said, I probably will do a pulley swap just on the front. I'll make the front pulley a little bit bigger. That'll give me just a little bit more speed. We're talking 10, 12 miles an hour, and that'll be it. I want to use this for moving stuff around the yard and nothing crazy, just a pulling golf cart, I guess is what you call it. It already has a hitch on the back, so that's a plus. That's where we're at. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to basically on the front of this thing, I'm going to weld, depending on how I do it, if I leave shocks on it, the idea here is in the front, I'm going to weld me two, um, I don't know what kind of bearings you call them. Anyways, two pillar bearings, that's it, on the front. And then on that, I'll build a drop bracket with a bar that'll go across. And basically this is just set up in there, the bar will be across and that'll hold the front. Then I have old four wheeler shocks and stuff everywhere. So back here on the back somewhere, I'll probably weld some brackets and put some four wheeler shocks if I'm gonna leave it shocked. And this will just be basically a giant swing arm. That's it, it'll just, it'll be basically the same way a golf cart's built, the motor and everything moves together. It's just a little bit, everything's already here. And that's where we're at. It won't have a gas pedal, so it'll just have a throttle. You can throttle it up, throttle it down, push forward, push reverse. That's it. Nothing fancy. I don't care about all that. I just want something I can pull around the shop and make it a neat little build. Hopefully, I mean, you can find these all the time. 100 bucks, 200 bucks. Lawnmowers, old junky lawnmowers. You probably have 10 of them in the yard if you're like me. I literally have... Oh man, I bet I, I I literally have six of them sitting out there in the bushes that all run just, you know, it is what it is. Belt brakes. Cheaper just get another mower. You know how it goes. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. This is, like I do in my other video, just a quick introduction. I am going to jump on this as soon as I get this yellow truck out. I'm doing a rebuild on a 390 big block. As soon as I get that truck out of my shop, this one will go in. Um, I have obviously a paint job to do, so it'll be working between the two. I finished the other golf cart. Um, this truck out here is, uh, well, we'll save that for another day of headaches. Basically, it ran good, and I was so happy in my video and very optimistic of what I can do with it, and then it spun a main bearing. So, yeah. That's life. Whatever. We move on. We continue. We add new stuff. We build new stuff. We fix stuff. We destroy stuff. Welcome to the world of the country, people. That's how we do it. But that's my project. This is an introduction to it. Uh, I have two car seats. I say car seats. They're seats out of a car, literally. Sitting right there. They're out of a Saturn view. That'll be the seats on this thing. You know, you got to ride in comfort when you're pulling junk around the yard. And that'll be it. All the steering in the front will stay the same. And I have just a lift in it. Probably just some, um, I'll build some homemade drop shackles. I've been wanting to do a video on that anyways. Show you a cheap way to do it. That actually is pretty sturdy. And uh, that'll be it. Probably six inch in the front. Whatever this equals in the rear, I'll just match it in the front to level it all out. And um, we'll go from there. We'll get it third together. I'll put a bed on the back of it. I have a golf cart bed. Oh, sitting right there in my junk. It'll go on the back. Like I said, this thing would just be a workhorse. Nothing fancy. And uh, we'll get it all done. We'll get it third together. We'll make it look decent. Obviously, there'll be a difference in the width. But I have plans for that too. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of... I don't want to say excited about it, but... Yeah, I don't know what the word would be. It's going to be interesting for me just to see how I can make it turn out, especially with the golf carts I build and work on around here. This will be by far the absolute ugliest Frankenstein one I've ever done. But it'll work, and that's what matters. Y'all, thanks for watching. Sorry I just rambled for 10 minutes. I'm just letting y'all know what's going on, what's coming up, and... uh Hope to see y'all around. Thanks for subscribing. My subscribers are going up, so 
either I'm doing something right or people are just bored. Ah, who knows? Anyways, thanks for subscribing and watching. Let me know what y'all are into, what you like to see. Any tips on this? Any ideas? Um, obviously, I don't want to hear about how stupid of an idea it is. I've already said that several times, so I don't need to hear it anymore. But yeah, thanks for watching. Y'all stay tuned.